Hey, it's me, Bella, back with the penultimate episode of my story. So, I was stuck pretending to be Ed's girlfriend, and in return, he was paying for my dad's medical treatment. I couldn't predict Jim took a flight back home sooner and appeared to be right there to see me and Ed together. I just wanted to tell Jim everything, but eventually, mine and Ed's thing was not just a one-off. I had to continue our fake relationship so he would cover my dad's medical bills. Worse still, Jim's quit his job, and I didn't even get the chance to explain myself to him. And just when I thought things couldn't get more complicated, John emailed me over a picture, and oh my god, I was not expecting to see this. I stared at the picture, dumbfounded. Ed and Ellie were kissing passionately in a car. And although their faces weren't clear, it was obviously them. I walked towards Ed's office and barged in without knocking. Ed and Ellie were there, and on seeing me, they raised their heads and looked at me with puzzled eyes. After a few minutes of silence, I calmed myself down and stammered, Why do you... How is this? You two are siblings, right? Talking was getting me nowhere, so I showed them the photo. Ellie immediately grabbed the phone out of my hand and said worryingly, Bella, calm down. Please, listen to me. It's not what you think. I can explain. Ed stopped her and said, Are you sure we should? They looked at each other confused for a moment, and then Ellie sighed and replied, There's no other way now. My heart was beating like crazy. I had no idea what was going on, but I had a feeling I was about to find out. Ellie told me that it was true her mom and Ed's dad used to be in a complicated relationship. They broke up and went their separate ways years ago. Later, her mom had her and became a single mom, but Ellie knew who her dad was, and it was definitely not Mr. Stratford. Wait, what? So you guys are not siblings? I couldn't believe my ears. Yes, Ellie continued. When I was 17, my mom got sick and found out she just had a few days left. In a desperate attempt to secure my future, she told Ed's father that I was his daughter. I knew this wasn't the truth, but back then, it was the only way. Ed came to Ellie to show his encouragement. I was so mean to her at first. I hated her for being my dad's unacceptable past. So when my dad arranged for Ellie to be an intern in the company and then promoted her to be a project manager, I determined that I had to try my best to kick her out. Oh, so that was the reason. The whole time, I thought he had the same passion as me. But right from the start, his target was all about her. Ellie sat me down and said, Ed was so childish back then. As soon as he graduated, he showed up in the company as an heir, took over my position, and forced me to become his assistant. This frustrated me, as I worked so hard to get the job, so I wasn't very nice to him at first. Now they were officially looking at each other with those loving eyes in front of me? Ugh! I had no choice but to listen to them till the end to find out the truth. Ed added, I could clearly see her opposition, but just to me personally, she was always professional, talking about work. So was he, Ellie continued. Over time, I realized he was not a talentless heir, but a great leader. Soon, I saw him as a man and felt for him. However, he believed I was his half-sister, so I had to keep my feelings in my heart and silently stay by his side to care for and support him. We often went on business trips and to parties together and gradually became inseparable. I turned to Ed and saw that he was looking at Ellie with a look filled with love, a look he'd never given me. So I asked, when did you two start falling in love? Ed looked awkward, held Ellie's hand and said, it was during a business trip in Las Vegas. We'd been chatting to a lot of guests, so we drank quite a lot. Then we went back to the hotel and she kissed me on my cheek. He turned to look at Ellie with loving eyes and continued, at first, I was shocked and pulled her up, but after she confessed her feelings for me and let me know the truth, that time I'd felt sick with worry about it all, 
but on finding out the truth, my feelings for her instantly became overwhelming. So... Ellie interrupted him. We spent the night together and decided to date in secret. As you know, if this was discovered, I would definitely have to leave the house and the company. So we wanted to wait until he had a foothold in the company and he could take care of me no matter what happened. I couldn't believe what happened. Las Vegas. I remembered that trip. It was Ed's business trip way back when I'd just started working at Starcross. I angrily looked at Ed and asked, So you'd been cheating on me for the entire time? Now it all made perfect sense. You were so cold and indifferent to me. Because you didn't love me at all. I was just a cover story, right? Ed looked at me and said, I'm sorry, Bella. I never wanted to hurt you. But I couldn't tell you the truth and risk exposing my relationship with Ellie. I replied, You're selfish and unkind, and using me as a pawn in your plan was unfair. I couldn't stop shaking. This whole thing was such a mess. One thing I don't understand, though, is Diane. Where did she come into this? Ellie immediately interjected, as if to justify Ed. It wasn't like that. She's never been part of the plan. It turned out that during a business trip to New York, Diane accidentally caught Ellie and Ed dating at the mall. She was so shocked seeing them kissing, but she quickly informed on the situation and walked to them. Ed and Ellie were flummoxed being caught, but Diane just asked Ed to break up with me and officially let her take that position instead. She said that she didn't care about their dramas and just wanted to gain the reputation of being a boss's girlfriend. In fact, she didn't care about Ed because she already had a boyfriend. She threatened that if Ed didn't agree, then she'd expose his relationship with Ellie to the entire company that would not only destroy their dignity, but it could also risk Stafford family's public humiliation. Ellie continued, We didn't know how else to handle this so we had to accept her request. But she also set up the drama at the hotel and called you over. Ed was forced to be part of that show-off plan. We were also tired of Diane's business. Ellie looked at Ed, then continued. Fortunately, once we captured Diane and proved that she was stealing company designs and selling them on, after that, we could end everything with Diane and told her that if she revealed our relationship, we would sue her. When Ellie finished talking, Ed turned to me and said, I know I was cruel to you, Belle, but I had to. It helped us keep this secret for a while. Then why did you come back to me and insist on fixing our feelings? I shouted angrily at Ed. The two of them looked at each other for a while. Ed explained to me that one day, when his parents were on a business trip, Ellie and he arranged to enjoy a romantic night in his room. Suddenly, his parents came back and entered without knocking. Ellie escaped in time, but Ed's mother still noticed a girl had just been in his room. At first, they thought it was Diane, and they weren't happy about it. He insisted that it wasn't Diane, but they still refused to believe him. They threatened to throw him out of the company because of it, as dating a girl who stole from them didn't set a good example to their clients. So he had to lie to them that I was his mystery girl. His parents had calmed down, but were still a bit suspicious. So they asked him to take me to their wedding anniversary party to prove that he was really with me and not Diane. Ellie said, That's why Ed had to find a way to get back with you, but you weren't making it easy. At that time, he had intended to give up, but coincidentally, we found out about your father. So... I told him to take that chance in the hope that everything could be resolved. I looked Ed in the eye and said, You're a bad guy. Just to cover up your secret, you were willing to do those bad things. You treat people like puppets that you control as you please. And you even used my dad's illness to manipulate me. Did you know that it's because of you Jim left without saying goodbye? It's also because of you I no longer have a chance to honestly tell him how I feel about him. I stood there, tears in my eyes. Ellie gave me a regretful look and tried to explain. Bella, I'm so sorry. I just wanted you to go to the party with Ed so his parents wouldn't throw him out of the company. Little did I know that they really liked you and was so proud of Ed having such a clever girlfriend, so we have to keep on lying. 
Ed continued, It's all my fault, not Ellie's. But honestly, I didn't know that you and Jim had feelings for each other. I'm sorry. I yelled at him. Of course you didn't! You only think about yourself! I was so sick of listening to them at this point. I just wanted to get out of there and never set eyes on either of them ever again. But then, Ed's phone rang. It was his mom. He answered straight away, and she firmly told him to come home at once and to bring Ellie and me with him. Whoa, what? Why me? What was going on?